Hey everybody, in this video I'll teach you how to make an advanced origami bow. This model is not my creation, I just modified the whole process to make it easier, I believe anybody can do it, and I hope you like it. Let's go! In this video I'm going to use 40 by 40 centimeters. as this is an advanced model, it's very important that the paper is a perfect square. First of all we need to fold in half, dividing this square into two rectangles. Unfold and now bring both sides to the middle, dividing into four parts, into four rectangles. Now pay close attention to the next step. We need to fold a new diagonal at the top of the middle right rectangle, as in this image. To do this, first hold the paper at the top of the middle and bring the upper right corner to the side, to the first left crease, just like this. Now make a crease only on the middle right rectangle, as I just said. And here is the result. Now bring the corner up using the existing crease. and fold the right side to the middle again. Flatten the top, creating the second diagonal crease. Fold the corner that is left to the right, using the middle line as an orientation. And finally, fold the edge back to the middle, dividing this last small fold in half. Undo, and here are our diagonals. Having done that, let's repeat the same step now on the left side. Now we can use this diagonal here as a reference, so just bring the edge over it, make the first crease, then bring the corner up, and close the side to make the second crease. Fold the corner to the side. and the edge back to the middle. Ok, just undo, and this is the result. 
In the bottom side is almost the same, the difference that now the folds will be a little longer. So first on the right side, we need to make a new crease connecting this point to the middle of the bottom. So just bring the corner to the side and make the new crease. As we did before, bring the corner back using the existing line on the middle. And then close the side, creating the second diagonal crease. Now, again, as we did before, bring the corner to the side, make a crease using the middle line as a reference, The difference that now will be a small space on this side, as highlighted in this image. This is normal, so do not worry. Unfold. And now let's repeat exactly the same step on the left side. Again, just connect the points. Bring the corner and close the left. Fold what is left to the side. And then bring the edge to the middle. Perfect. With this, we have made all the main lines of the origami. Now we lift the middle line, leaving the sides folded down. Just like this. Then, in the first layer, fold the bottom side up. Turn the paper over and repeat on the other side. For the next step, we will reverse the corner using the diagonals we just made. To do this, simply push the corners that will reverse almost aromatically. Something like this. On the next two lines, bring the paper back and reverse again on the last one. Reinforce a little and this is the result on this corner. Ok, let's repeat the same on the right side, on the larger corner. Reverse on the first, bring back on the second and reverse again on the last one. The same logic, very simple. Ok, having done that, turn the paper over and repeat the same on the other two corners. 
just make something like a zigzag on each one. Open the middle and we have something like a diamond. Make a line in the middle connecting the corners and bringing the smaller side over the larger. In this space that is left, let's bring one corner to the other, dividing in half. You don't have to fold too much here, just enough to the line. Now the corner to the new crease. And having that one corner marked, we'll bring the smaller side again over the bigger one, but now bringing the tip until that last mark that we made the one quarter try to do this um, more accurate as you can bringing exactly at the last crease and for now mark just enough to see the line again Undo, turn the paper over and reverse the last crease, bringing one side over the other, like this. And using the existing crease and using the existing crease bring the paper back this is the result turn it over and rotate the paper in this position here right at the top we have this corner this flap on the inside we have two small diagonals. Let's make a mark just for orientation on the base of the same diagonals, like in this image. To do this, just bring the paper down. And reinforce on the middle. Now bring the first layer down as much as possible and again make a small mark just to have an orientation and to make the next fold bring one mark to the other and fold strongly Now fold the flaps up, first these two, and then the larger one over it. Rotate the paper and pay close attention to the next step. We'll need to open the last part, bringing the right layer to the right and the rest to the left, leaving the side open. So, hold the right side and pull the flaps 
on the left. Just like this. Here, first watch and then try to do the same. Something like this. Now, rotate and repeat the same step on the other side. Pull the flaps to open. We need to lower both the line on this side and the other on the other side keeping the base flattened, like this. Having done that, close the flap again, and bring to the side. Rotate the paper one more time Rotate the paper one more time and again attention for the next step we need to fold this diagonal to the middle, only on the first layer. With that, a bit of paper is lifted on top. Let's flatten this part by creating a rectangle that connects to the side. Just like this. Reinforce. And repeat the same on the left. First bring the edge to the middle, that way. Then flatten the triangle. Ok, on the second layer, fold the edges in the same way, now over the previous one. Again, flatten what is left on top, now creating a slightly different triangle, but also connecting to the side. We finish the right side, now just do the rest. This part is ready for now. On the middle we have these two small folds. Let's bring the diagonal edge to the bottom, to the fold just below, the crease just below. Then undo and fold the edge to the side, creating a vertical fold. And also a new triangle. Repeat the same on the left side, trying to make most alike as possible.
and rotate the paper again. Now in this position. Using the main line on the middle, let's close the paper. Just bring the top down. And here you can correct what is not aligned, if necessary. For the next step, let's create some guidelines. First bring this edge here to the middle fold. Reinforce a little bit. And now repeat the same on the next layer, bringing the middle to the same side. Reinforce a little more and undo. Turn it over. Repeat the same on the other side. First bring the first layer. And then the second. Open the paper again. And in this part you must create a new difference to bend the bulls back, bringing the paper back slightly and something like two new diagonals. To make it easier, just bring the middle back a little. And close the paper again. Flattening and creating the two diagonals. Reinforce well. Then join the three right flaps and keep in the middle open. Bring the sides back. creating a corner, more or less in the middle of the body. Now on the other side, to make one of the legs, we'll bring that flap a little bit forward. And here again, pay close attention. We need to join the edge, leaving both sides well aligned. and bring forward in a way that connects to the top of this same flap. That is, we fold as much as possible. The corner should also be more or less in the middle of the body, aligned with the previous one. Something like this. Having this one ready, we can repeat on the other side, but now everything must be a lot easier, because after all we have already made the previous one to use as a reference. Finishing this, we'll reduce the size of the bull's belly, leaving a little more muscular. To do this, first open, unfold this little triangle here, and then fold the edge down, more or less connecting these points. Use 
You can use half of this space here as a reference if you want, so just mark a little bit on each side. And then connect the points. Flatten the triangle again, now with a slightly different shape. Then reinforce and repeat the same on the other side. Close, reinforce and align if necessary. The base is ready, now let's give the details. First fold that leftover on the front legs, first on the right, and then on the left. Finishing this right on the side will fold the remaining corner into the layer below, connecting these two corners here. The same on the other side. For the back leg, we'll create a diagonal from the end of the line the red exists. and another connecting this to the edge of the belly. Having the two lines, just bring the new flap back and, of course, reinforce. Do the same on the other side, now using the previous one as a reference. And reinforce too. Now, to make the horn, we have to fold that first flap inside. For this, we need to rotate the paper, bringing the top to the limit, and at the same time holding the bottom side, so that the crease doesn't exceed the leg. Wonder, 
Reinforce. And do the same on the other side. Now fold the flaps forward, keeping them parallel with the already folded corners. First this one. Something like this. The other in the same way. To the head, first we open the front Then we make two small marks, one on each side, just enough to see two lines These marks are for reference only, in the end we can change it Now fold the tip from the bottom up until about the point where the first layer is marked. Fold down leaving a small difference. and the rest is folded in. We have the detail of the nose. To make the head more realistic, we will create two lines, as in this image here, both bringing the paper up. This step may vary a little bit, and if you want, you can leave it to be done in the end. To make the first horn we need to unfold that part and close the tip, bringing one edge to the other, making it thinner. Something more or less like this, but keeping the middle mark to close again after. To get easier, you can close the head again and then repeat on the other side.
Finishing this, we can fold the tip that is left to the side, thus creating a detail of the ear. You can choose to just fold like this, or else open a bit too, giving more detail. Repeat on the other side. Now pay close attention, it's the hardest step in my opinion. On each side of the head, we need to bring back that mark we made, bringing the head down. And as I said before, you can now modify the line if necessary. The point is that you need to pull the line back as far as possible over the next layer. As you can see here, the head goes down automatically. Having this ready, we leave this fold under this layer. We will correct the lines that are necessary, including the detail of the head. Having done that, let's repeat the same on the other side more alike as possible. This is more or less the result, remember that you can fix everything in the end. For the detail of the legs, first let's fold those tips from the back a little down. For the bull's hooves, again pay close attention. Let's start with this one. First we need to open the tip, but be careful not to rip the paper. Now having it open, hold it open with one hand and close the remaining paper with the other, flatten it over. This should be more or less the result. Now to live more realistic, we can fold the 
tip of the front inside. And also take the sides back, but this is optional. Do the same with the other and compare the two to try to leave the same. For the front is almost the same thing, the difference that now there will be more layers so it can be a bit harder. But as before, just open and hold it open with one hand, close with the other and give it the details. Same thing with the one that's left. And with that we are done with almost everything. To make it more realistic, let's just fold those corners of the back legs. On the tail, let's first bend a little down. And as we did with the legs, let's open the tip and flatten the rest. Bend the horns a little bit, leaving as you like. And finally we can round all the edges to make everything much more realistic, but this is optional. Then correct everything you need, fold everything else you want and the origami bowl is ready! This is my second animal of the origami zodiac. This is the most advanced model I've ever taught on my channel. 
I've tried to show the best I can and I hope everyone who tried has succeeded. Remember to click like, subscribe to my channel and share this video to help. Thank you so much for watching me and I'll see you next time.